Hello everybody, my name is Pietro Frigerio and I'm a video game music composer and sound designer. In this video I want to share my process for the implementation of sound in Unity's 3D kit using Audio Kinetic Wise. So let's start with Ellen's locomotion system. I tested the main character set of moves and identified four movement types, running, landing, rolling and changing direction. Um, Let's take as an example the run movement. Ellen can run on different terrains like dirt, grass, stone or between uh, weeds. And uh, within WISE each terrain has a dedicated group of footstep sounds which were placed in uh, containers that play each footstep in a random sequence. The pitch of each sound is also randomized to create uh, even more variety. Now, every random container is an apparent switch container which will receive information about different terrain types from the game engine and will play the proper footstep sound. I then headed to Unity to place various box colliders that set the proper terrain information whenever the player is within its volume. And uh, the same procedure was then repeated for each other type of move. In order to hook each sound to the character, I prepared a script containing multiple functions. Each function casts an event, which is used by WISE to generate sounds. For example, a play footstep event is cast whenever Ellen puts her foot on the ground. I used the animation clips to execute the function within the script in sync with the character moves, populating the game with its first sounds. Using the same technique, a weapon swing sound was hooked to the attack animation clips, with a few more precautions. First, vocal sounds were added to the attack event, this time with a probability of a 60% to be played. This way the character won't grant for each attack, but only for a few of them. Second, I made sure that some objects responded to Ellen hits with a specific impact sound. For example, I added a sphere collider to the Grenadier boss, so that each time Ellen swings her sword in its proximity, a metallic sound is added on top. In a similar way, there's a specific sound for the stone crates when they break. This time, the WISE event had to be cast within the code, specifically within the same function triggering the crate destruction. Finally, I added a respawn specific sound. Since the respawning animation is also played at the beginning of the game, a respawn sound event is cast directly within the code triggering the respawn particle system. So, let's now talk about objects, as they have some specific needs. There are life crates that refill the player life points, a weapon pedestal where you pick up your weapon, some crystals that act as switches to open doors, and, uh, as you can guess, huge doors opening. The life crates are made up of two sounds, a looping energy field which is meant to draw the player attention, and a pickup event which will also stop the energy field sound. The energy field sound is cast with a sphere trigger collider so that it starts in proximity of the crate and it stops when it's picked up. This presents a problem because if a player picks up the life, exits and then enters back into the sphere collider, the energy field sound will start again. To prevent this behavior, I wrote a script to deactivate the energy field sphere collider once the life is picked up, and the weapon pedestal got the same treatment. 
I wanted the crystal switches to change sound once they are activated. To do that, I used wise states. Each crystal plays two sounds, one looping when the crystal is dormant and another one looping when the crystal is active. A wise state switches from dormant to active upon crystal activation. This brings the dormant sound volume all the way down and the active sound volume all the way up. To trigger the door sounds, I added a few lines to some existing code. Specifically, the set object active script now casts a wise event. Since this script activates many other objects, I added a public event selector so that each object can cast a specific event when activated. The enemy's sounds are mainly cast through their animation clips, with an exception for the grenadier grenades. Within the grenade behavior code, an event is cast for each grenade bounce and explosion. In WISE, the sound for the grenade bounces are placed in a sequence container which plays the sound with a higher pitch at each repetition. As a final touch, I added a background ambient sound by placing an event directly on the player. I also created a cool effect for the portal. Using real-time parameter controls, two different sounds are blended into each other. As the character gets closer to the portal, a dramatic sound rises. That is everything I had to share. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, let's have a final run through the level to hear everything together.